Finally, after 12 long years, Samurai Jack finally comes to an end. Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here, and I welcome you all to the Samurai Jack series finale episode review. Today we're going to be talking about episode CI, or episode 10 of the, se of the entire season. And let me tell you, trying to get this review in isn't easy, especially since I have so many things to say, and in a video like this, what better way to do it than here? So here is the deal, and I want you all to pay attention. I will be providing first a summary of the episode, along with my favorite thought, like some of the thoughts, like the main thoughts that I found about it. Not to mention, I will also be providing an overall review to Season 5. And in addition, there will be two other things. First is a little something I've never done before. How Episode CI should have ended. Because, yeah, I will be talking about this, but I want to provide my feelings on how the episode should have ended. And personally, there are many things I do want to say. But at the same time, you can't help but wonder how it could have ended a bit differently. And finally will be my final thoughts on the season as well as the series. This is a long one, and if this review isn't up to par, I do apologize. This is what I get for doing it like around 6, 6.30 in the afternoon and trying to make sure I get this in before the recommended deadline. After all, I waited this long to do it, so why not we get started? This won't be like my TMNT review or my Flash Season 2 finale review. This is my review and all of it is opinionated. If you feel you want to disagree, be my guest. Let us get started. Following last week's episode, Jack had been defeated and captured by Aku. The world watches as Aku prepares to seal the fate of the samurai. But not all is lost. All the people that Jack have aided, all that he have allied, gathered together to save their friend and savior. The final battle is at hand. The fate of the world, past, present, and future hang in the balance. Jack's journey reaches its conclusion. And will he be able to return to the past and finally undo the future that is Aku? Yeah. After 12 long years, Samurai Jack finally comes to a close. And man, what an episode that was. It was incredible. An incredible, yet emotional, yet intense, yet satisfying conclusion to a show that we've waited for. I mean it, I really enjoyed the episode. I did a lot. For starters, the beginning of the episode showed like, you know, the intro from the previous four seasons where it's like narrated by Mako. It shows it here, but the ending part was like newly animated. I gotta admit, it made me feel nostalgic, but with Aku coming out of nowhere and saying, nah, okay, that made me giddy, but it also got me excited for what the episode would bring. Not to mention the huge final battle where all of Jack's friends and allies who he had helped come in to save the day. But you guys know it would be a losing battle. It would be a losing fight because Aku was more than willing to fight back. Heck, even the Scotsman came back as a spirit willing to help with his daughters. And seeing Jack and the Scotsman reunite after so long, yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, Jack was pretty surprised why Scotsman died. I guess he never saw how it happened. Though you have to wonder at the end, see, introducing Jack to all of his daughters. I guess in the end, Jack should have chose one of them, but you can pretty much guess who he ended up choosing. Yeah, I waited a long time for Jack to finally confess his feelings for Ashi. All it took was three words. Three little, little words that Jack should have said. It would have saved them a lot of time and trouble. And it did. And Jack finally said those words to Ashi. I love you. And it was all needed to get Ashi to break out of Aku's grip. And it was also the one thing that helped Jack finally fulfill his destiny. Since Jack went back in time to the very first instance, the very first episode where Jack finally defeated Aku, only for him to be sent forward in time in the future, which set in motion the entire series. And then Jack came back and took down Aku once and for all, not only changing the future, but also saving the universe. He undid the future that is Aku, and we waited so long for it. And I was really, really excited to see Jack and Ashi finally wed. But not everything all is at, or rather in this right word, not everything is as it seemed to be. Yeah. With Aku's death, Ashi, who pretty much has Aku's DNA on it, 
could not exist. And seeing her fade away like that was disheartening. Made worse is that they didn't kiss. And for some odd reason, I am reminded of Tenga, Topa, and Guru, and Lagan when Simon and Nia kissed and then Nia faded away. I am reminded of Guru and Lagan. The only difference is that Jack and Ashi didn't have their wedding kiss. I mean, they did kiss at the end of XCIX, I believe. But I wanted it to actually feel something. I was, I am a Jack and Ashi shipper to let you know. And seeing how it ended was just disappointing and sad. Yet at the same time was also very uplifting in the final scene with the ladybug near Jack. And as it flew off, everything became so colorful and so vibrant. If that is not a way how to end an episode. If that is not a way how to end a series, if that is not a way how to end the season like this, I don't know what will. But what I can say is that it made it uplifting. It brought a sense of hope for Jack that even though he did lose everything, in the end, he was able to fulfill what needed to be done and save the world. And that made me pretty happy, honestly. I only have two negatives with this episode. This episode's very good, but there are two negatives to it. First, Aku didn't really do much, despite the fact that he was involved in like the big fight scene that happened with all of Jack's friends and allies. And how come Jack couldn't do, I mean, how come Aku couldn't do anything about it when Ashi was about to send him back in time? Shouldn't he have followed them? He didn't. He never bothered, and that was what troubled me. And then in the past, Aku got beaten easily. Although by this point, Jack has grown hardened enough to actually deal with a coup once and for all. And seeing him go down was very satisfying. And the only other negative was the sad ending of seeing Ashi fade away. And seeing Jack all depressed and everything. But then it led to an uplifting moment. It was just very satisfying. But at the same time, I wish they could have at least kissed to signal that. It would have made myself really happy. It really would have. It really would have. But alas, it never happened. I could give this ep episode a 10 out of 10, but this season finale, I can't. I truthfully can't. And remember, my review is opinionated. So I will be providing my rating for it at the very end, as well as the season. Which, speaking of which, is the next topic I'm discussing. Overall, season 5. Season 5 overall has been a complete departure from the previous four seasons. For starters, it aired on Adult Swim, which allowed the creators, especially Jenny Tartakovsky, to have a lot more freedom in providing something that was not only dark, but also satisfying. You can't deny that the animation was just truly marvelous. Every episode was able to top it in terms of animation, in terms of atmosphere, in terms of expression, and in terms of everything else. All around, Season 5 overall was truly a magnificent sight. And something that we waited 12 years for. I know that the previous seasons are just as good and as memorable. But Season 5 took things to a whole nother level. Adding themes such as life and death. And things you would never expect in a show like this. Like for example, Jack for the first time killing someone. That is a surprise because deep within that mind, Jack always thought that they were like machines. They were nuts and bolts. But when it came to a human, that's a different story. Also playing with Jack's inner psyche. The inner darkness within him and it was pretty impressive on how Jack, the Jack that we know, still was able to keep himself sane in spite of everything that has happened. Not to mention Aku as well because I feel that Jack and Aku are parallels. They have lasted this long. Their rivalry, their hatred lasted a very long time. But after 50 years, you can't help but feel that Aku got bored. Aku was bored, he was worried, but also he was a bit paranoid. Paranoid that Jack is still out there and he won't experience true domination until he is defeated. Luckily that happened and you can pretty much guess how that went in the final episode. Though honestly, season 5 overall was a dramatic change. It introduced us some new characters like Ashi, to which I will say even though Ashi wasn't really that developed as much, I personally liked her as a character and it made added a more dynamic for Samurai Jack because he's always been alone and he's always had trouble trusting others. But with Ashi, Jack can find someone to relate to and I liked how her development grew throughout the series. I wish there would have been more time for it but for what we got, it was pretty good. And what made it better is that Tara Strong voices Ashi and she delivered 
One of my favorite performances ever. She nailed it. She delivered it. And the chemistry she had with Phil Lamar and also Greg Baldwin really shined. And speaking of Greg Baldwin, he made Mako proud. He's not the best, but he delivered on his performances as our crew. And you guys know he also did Eero during the Avatar The Last Airbender series. But I will say that Greg Baldwin did a terrific job as Aku. He really delivered his own take on it. He really delivered how Aku should be like after 50 years. He's still the same, no doubt about it. But he can also deliver something really threatening when it came to Aku. Really delivered it big time. And to all the actors, especially to Phil Lamar, who I will give praise to as well, they delivered a fantastic season. Really fantastic. Really awesome. Really satisfying. And a, and a proper conclusion to the series. I mean that. Proper conclusion. Now this one is going to be a little tough. Because I've never done this before. And it's going to be how episode CI should have ended. Because you know those YouTube videos of like how it should have ended. This is my take on it. And if you have your own take on how this episode should have ended. Please feel free to post it in the comments. And if it ends up as spam I will make sure it's automatically approved. Anyway. This is how episode CI should have ended. The rest of the episode is fine. What I wish it could have ended was basically Jack and Ashi working together to defeat Aku in the future. And when they were able to defeat him in the future, then they can then travel back in time and then have Jack defeat Aku in the past. The one thing they should have added at least was with Jack and Ashi getting married and shedding, sharing their wedding kiss. But I believe that... Within it all, Jack and Ashi knows that now Aku is gone, she won't exist. Jack wouldn't be sad, but instead he'd know about it. Same for Ashi, and knows that no matter what, he won't forget her. Ashi won't either, and as she fades away, Jack doesn't feel sad, but rather a sense of hope. A hope for himself, and a hope for a new future. And who knows, maybe years down the line, 50 years when Samurai Jack is an old man, he meets a young child named Ashi, Spending time with his family and his siblings. That would have been a great end in the show. But what we had. Especially with the overbearing. Like all the red that you saw on the tree. And all the nature. Is fine by me as well. Now I know of course I'm ripping it off from Gurren Lagan. I'm not the best when it comes to this sort of thing. But this is how I feel should have ended. But for what we have. Like for 22 minutes it's worth it. And thankfully you can also now replay the entire season. They're going to have an entire marathon for it. So yeah, that's my take on how it should have ended. The rest of the episode is fine, don't get me wrong. The only things that could have been changed was Aku being more involved in the battle, having Jack and Ashi team up to defeat Aku in the future, then head back to the past, and then continue on as normal. Only difference this time is that they kiss. That's the one thing I want. As a Jack and Ashi shipper, I wanted to see them at least have a wedding kiss before the inevitable end. But what can you do, honestly? And last, but certainly not least... My final thoughts on this season and the series. Yeah, compared to the previous seasons, this one was dark. It was dark, but it was a good kind of dark. It added something different, something vibrant. And being on Adult Swim really did help a lot. The voice acting was solid. The animation was gorgeous. And the series itself, from start to finish, provided a journey. Or rather, in this case, painted a journey of how a young man who wields a sword stood up to a crew then ending up traveling to this world and spent most of his life fighting and surviving while trying to find a way home. And then after 50 years, he would finally do it. And he would end up encountering a young woman who, like Jack, is in a similar predicament. The only difference is that this young woman was trained to be an assassin to kill Samurai Jack. But in the end, she would eventually learn of the misdeeds Aku had done and all the good things Jack has done to the world and how it brought hope. But overall, I can't deny that this entire series is so legendary. It is legendary by, I mean, I mean, truly legendary. I could go on and on talking about my thoughts on the entire show, but if you have not seen the show, what are you waiting for? Watch it. If you, got, if you bought the DVDs for it, pop one in and watch it. And then you tell me how you feel about it. I waited, or rather, many of us who grew up watching Samurai Jack from 2001 to 2004 waited a long time to see this show end, and we all wondered if Jack would ever go home. Yeah, and now, after yesterday, and today of course, we finally saw a good ending. A proper ending. 
So you probably are wondering, how do I rate this? How do I rate the series finale of Samurai Jack? I can't give it a 10, honestly, because there are some things that I found to be rather negative, and the only other negative I should mention is, yes, the Guardian is dead. Which makes me feel really sad, because I want to hear Kevin Michael Richardson. What I am going to say is that I am giving this episode a 9.5. It is, without a doubt, one of the best ways to end the series. The Powerpuff Girls reboot and the Teen Titans Go should take note on how it should properly be done. It's a 9.5 out of 10, but for the season overall, I give it also a 9.5. Or rather, yeah, 9.5 would very much accept it because the season was beautifully amazing. And sometimes when I when I finished watching the episode, I cried. I literally cried. I cried at how it ended. It just made me feel sad that it's finally over. After so many years, 12, 16, 15 years we waited, Samurai Jack is over. And I just, what happens from here? I wonder what's going to happen from here. Now we know Jack has a, a changed future and everything. But it's just not going to feel the same without Samurai Jack. It just isn't. But overall, I love this episode a lot. I couldn't give it a perfect score, but for what we have, it is truly, without a doubt, a great one. A great one, a great end of the season, and an amazing end to the series. I mean that. So yeah, I left my rating for the week as well as the season. And for the series, Gen D. And to everyone who had worked on this show since 2001 till now, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thank you for finally giving us closure for Samurai Jack. And yeah, that is it for my series finale review. What, were you expecting this to be over 20 minutes? I'm sorry, I'm still shaken up over how it ended. But at the same time, I'm also hopeful for the future. Now, Jendi, if it's not that much to ask, please bring back Symbionic Titan. This show deserves another season, not just for me, but for everybody here too. So that is it for my review of the Samurai Jack series finale. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you've seen the episode, let me know when you think of the in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit the like button. It really, it really does mean a lot to me because I love doing these reviews, and it helps me provide my thoughts on shows that I've enjoyed growing up watching. I still have to do the Flash series finale review, so look out for that. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, that is it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you next time. And thank you.